Legion Tactical Cutlery. Hey everyone, how you guys doing? This is Grugs of Legion Tactical Cutlery. Welcome back troops, welcome back any new recruits. I do appreciate you guys checking out my channel. In front of you, you see the Schrade SCHF 32. This is a discontinued model. I bought this a while ago. It is an awesome blade and I can't wait to show it to you guys. But yep, first, what's in your pocket, ladies and gentlemen? Today, I just bought the new Buck Selkirk small version of a folding knife. This thing is phenomenal. It's well done. McCarter scales, just an amazing pocket carry. All right, guys, let me know what's in your pocket. Also, Vets Military, you guys are welcome here. Let us know who you are, comment below. Next, shout outs. Today we're gonna do subscribers. Subscribers that are always commenting. Man, I, I appreciate you guys. So let's begin. All right, first up, thank you, Rusty Knife Lover, Jeff Auschbacher, Michael58, Stephen Klaus, Jeremy Spaulding, and John Peters. All right, again, I wanna thank those subscribers who are always and religiously commenting on my videos. You guys are so appreciated and I can't thank you enough. And I know that not only my channel is appreciated by these particular users, but these guys are always commenting on everybody's channel. All right, let's get into the knife. As you can see in front of you, this is a Schrade SCAHF32. This model, again, is discontinued and it is awesome. So let's get into the specs. So this features a full tang, removable handle scales, TPE handles, and believe it or not, this sheath is also, according to the specs, made out of TPE. Blade length is 4.20 inch. Overall length is 9.4 inch. The blade thickness is 3.42 millimeters. The blade material is a black coated 8CR13 MOV high carbon stainless. The handle length is 5.2 inch. The handle texture is a TPE overlay in black. TPE standing for thermoplastic elastomer. Total weight is 8.0 ounce. And the sheath, as I had mentioned before as a feature, is also thermoplastic. Pretty interesting. This is a great looking knife. It is a great feeling knife. Let's get into the knife. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is a, an aggressive clip point blade. It is a deep hollow grind blade. There is only a sharpening choil. There's the handle. It's a very decent size, 5.2 inch. It is textured very well, very comfortable to grip. As you can see here, fits my fingers perfectly, fits my hand perfectly. You could see the finger grooves, and it is fantastic in the hand. It's a great feel. The handles, the thermoplastic handles are just a dream. They are comfortable. As you can see, there is some jimping. It's not too thick. It's a relatively thin blade, but still a very capable blade. Full tang, beauty. There's some jimping right over here. Very, very good uh, jimping. Not too aggressive on the finger, but it sure won't slip. You got a little bit of jimping in the rear over here. There is a generous lanyard hole for a lanyard. These scales, the TPE scales are removable. As you can see here, just a fantastic all around belt knife that you could have on your hip when you don't need to carry something too extravagant, too big, too heavy. It's not so bad. The weight is eight ounces with the sheath. Let's check out the sheath real quick. According to the specs, this is a thermoplastic sheath. It's a very nice sheath. It's got a decent uh, loop for the belt. I guess if you uh, if you found the proper tech lock, you could put a tech lock here and you can carry it in Scout. 
Um, it is only one side of a carry. It is not ambidextrous, but still a pretty nice sheath. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, let me put the knife in here. It snaps in. It does not come out. I think this would be a great hunting knife, a great bushcraft knife, a great all-around knife just to have on your person. It's a fantastic knife, ladies and gentlemen. It's a shame that Shrey discontinued this. Um, what I'd like to see a little bit different with this knife, instead of having this deep hollow grind, I would rather see a full flat grind. That would be great. And I would like to also see a better steel. <laughs> if this was uh, 1095 carbon, man, this thing would be fantastic. But the uh, 8CR13 MOV is not too bad. Yeah, this feels great in the hand. The reverse grip feels great. I kind of wish there was a little bit of a choil for choking up, but this is not so bad. I mean, you could put your finger pretty close to the sharpening choil and get a good grip. I would recommend a pair of gloves, but this is a nice little carry knife, you know? It's legal to carry a uh, full, full tang fixed blade. I would definitely carry this on my person. It's not too big, it's not too small, just the right size. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for this quick review. I appreciate you guys. Let's go over the subscribers. And remember, these subscribers are just regular subscribers. They are not video content creators, and they deserve this shout out. Vets Military, you guys are welcome here. Leave a comment below so that we can thank you for your service. And I want to make everybody aware, hashtag 22 a day, hashtag 22 a day no more. There are veterans that come out of the military with a lot of challenges. And one of these challenges, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, is suicide. I'm going to put up a phone number and some links up on the screen. They will be also in the comments and in the description. Vets, military, please, before you do the unthinkable, your families love you. We love you. Check out those numbers, check out those links. Please guys, think twice before you do anything. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching my channel. It is always much appreciated. You guys are really great, you all rock. And remember, let me know what's in your pocket. Let's check this out real quick. This is the small buck, 835 Selkirk. It's a nice knife ladies and gentlemen, check it out. These are Micarta scales. They're done so well. Look at those thick liners. I'm going to do a review on this. Deep pocket carry. I mean, this is a nice knife. And I paid, I don't know, $40 for it, I think. Look at those thick liners. Fantastic. Look at a bolster. I want you to check something else out. Nice and straight. Pretty decent alignment. Not too big, not too small. It does fit the hand very nice. It's got a little bit of jimping over here. A very nice pocket carry. All right, guys, let me know what you're carrying. All right, thank you very much again, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate you so much. It's fantastic. And when I mean we, even the other content creators, because I know a lot of the subscribers here subscribe to a lot of the content creators that I'm subscribed to, and as much as I appreciate you, those guys appreciate you. We all appreciate the subscribers. All right, troops, until next time, take care. This is Grugs of Legion Tactical Cutlery. We are Legion.